Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Flood and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series. And we are here at the slog on a very foggy morning. Um, so let's start off with Pardon the Ghouls. They have not despawned since the last time the slog got attacked. Uh, I don't think there's even anything on these ghouls, but they're sticking around. So, first up, the defenses. There are three spawn points. There are... There is, excuse my grammar. There's one over here, which is why there's a line set up there. There is another spawn point. I'm not sure exactly where. Um, but it's somewhere over in this vicinity. I distinctly remember in another playthrough that there was a large super mutant attack that went on here and it seemed like it went on for an eternity so I stacked up as much as I could uh, for turrets for this side and then otherwise there is another um, there's another defense there's an, another enemy spawn location over here and uh, this is where I've been getting attacks more frequently the last few times I've come to the slog um, to defend and that turret is not on there properly uh, okay so uh, alright let's start with the tour everything is again left the way it is um, I did put the water purifier here in the pool as long as there's already existing water and then inside I added more beds I added sleeping bags over here since there was room for them and do, do, do. got three scavenging stations going on here I completely forgot about this little building we'll get to that um, I didn't really know what to do here I think I wanted to make it into a little marketplace so I did we got the vault tech rep here. Are looking up. I can As in the general, then we got clothing and clinic. Then you got the um, uh, soda phone from vault tech workshop, population, settlement, and so on and so forth. Um, the gardens, same as it was. I completely forgot I put this here. I put a little bar here, and I did not put any seating because I have not been here in a long time. So we got a bartender over here. Um, that's pretty much a really quick run through for the slog. Um, I don't know how to put this. Um, I purposely put as many, and I guess I'm trying to put a morally right spin on this. I did put for the max settlers that I have here, 16, I made sure that they were all uh... I'm slipping on my fallout terminology, I apologize. I made sure that they were ghouls, there we go. Um, that's what I was thinking was ghouls, but I thought that was another term. But uh, I made sure they were all ghouls, um, not so much from a racist standpoint but more of they're more of accepting of each other rather than like if I put regular settlers here I mean because so, again it kind of goes down to the binary that is with uh, Diamond City and Good Neighbor where Diamond City there's no ghouls allowed where Diamond what did I just say? Diamond City, there's no ghouls allowed. And then at a good neighbor, anybody is welcome to join. Um, so I did, I, I did that based on more on that. Not just for my own personal vendetta if I had any against the ghouls, which I don't unless they're extremely hostile. Oh, I thought for a second our turrets were going to pick something up. But uh, yeah, that's more or less the reason why I added uh, all ghouls to the settlement. It's because they'd be more accepting of each other rather than having like one 
non ghoul fight person and him being a prick. Um, seems like it's always raining here. But, uh, we'll move on to what it looks like in the day. Um, my provisioner was here. The Brahmin is here. I don't know where my provisioner is. I don't know if I've ever mentioned, all my provisioners are robots because they do not affect the settlement happiness. Whereas if you had a human or ghoul uh, provisioner, it does affect the settlement happiness. So I made robots for every settlement, except for my player homes, obviously. Well, no, no, I lied. Diamond City, my Diamond City home doesn't have it. But anyway, uh, let's see what it looks like at night. All right, here we are, back of the slog in the night, and it looks pretty good. I mean, excuse me, I didn't put anything. There's my provisioner. There he is. I mean, I didn't put any more exterior lighting. Most, again, probably just because I haven't been here in so long, but it seems like it doesn't even really need it. Um, the main place here is pretty lit up. The pool does a fair amount of lighting. Yeah. And uh, a little light that I have from a little string of lights from the bar does well. Then over here, enough lighting just from the merchants. But, uh, yeah, that's the slog. Um, I don't know what else to really say about it. <laughs> it's the slog. Um, anyway, so that is the slog, uh, everybody. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys did just for you, make sure to drop a like. If you want to stay in tune with this series and as well as future content make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button thank you everybody so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time